all just want to start with a quick apology for the delay on this video. Uh, yeah, uh, last month my computer decided to die, meaning I couldn't do anything. But now everything seems to be okay, so let's continue with the bear. First things first, here's the top of the head from part one, and the first thing we're going to do today is make the nose. So for this uh, you will need uh, 70 centimeters of string, and all you do, turn this upside down here, so you have it in this format, then you just got to thread the string through this bead here between the eye and the uh, white bead here, having the red on the right and the blue on the left. From here, all you need to do, one yellow bead on the red side here, a white bead on the blue side, and cross them both through the white bead. From here, take the red string here, through this white bead in the center, add two more white beads to the blue on the right, and then cross them through the second bead on the blue one. From here, add three more white beads on the blue, and cross with the red in the final one. From here, the blue string on the right here goes through this bead here, add two white beads on the red one on the left, and then cross the blue and the red in the second bead added to the red piece. Once you've added the two beads to the red and crossed them like this, you really want to make sure that it folds upwards rather than downwards. This is very important. Uh, and then take the red string here down through this bead, add two white beads to the blue and cross them through the second one on the top. Hopefully it should give you something like this. From here the blue string goes through this bead and out the other side, where the red one you add one small black bead for the nose, take it backwards through this bead and then out through this bead here on the other side. And if everything has gone correctly you should be left with this shape and the two strings coming out the bottom like this. And give yourself a round of applause as this is by far the most difficult part of all of the bead kits. Hmm. From here, all we need to do now is make the underside. Take the blue string here, and we're gonna use the uh, bottom of the head here as our underside. And we're gonna weave the red and the blue string as we did to make the top of the head. Now the only thing we need to be careful of here is we're going to be crossing nine times. The second and the final time we cross, which will be under the eyes, we're going to cross using a pink bead, like this, rather than a white or yellow bead, as these will be the cheeks. Uh, additionally, we're going to be adding two beads to the blue, uh, as we did before, and only one to the red. Uh, the first one we add will be yellow, the second, third and fourth will be red, and the final one will also be yellow. And if everything has gone nice and correctly, you can see the last yellow bead is just sliding up and down on the top here. We have the two cheeks placed just under the eyes, uh, that's a little bit too tight, and the three red beads in the back, which will be the collar of the bear. From here, take the red string here up through this bead and then cross it through this dangly bead here. And then before doing the final round, uh, you need to stuff the head using the wool provided. And uh, as I've mentioned before, make sure you have enough wool to keep the head in a circular shape, but not too much to be coming through the holes. Uh, and to do this, I recommend break it in half and then just keep adding little bits until you are satisfied. Once you are satisfied with the amount of wool in the head, you can start weaving the final ring. And to do this, uh, we need to add one red bead to the red string, one yellow to the blue, and cross them. Following this, add a red bead to the blue, cross again through a yellow bead, then cross through a red bead, yellow bead, yellow bead, red bead. So we have the red bead added in the front, the cross in the red here, and the cross in the red here. And that should give you the final ring of the head, closing this hole completely. Another point to remember, before you get to the final bead, you want to add your bell. And that should hang in the center. 
Once you've gone complete circle around the bottom of the head, uh, you should be left with the six red beads making a ring around four central beads. Uh, as before, you just weave the red string back up through the first red bead and through two of the yellow beads to bring it out on the left side. And the blue goes through two of the center yellow beads and out through the red bead that you added first. From here, all you need to do, tie both the strings in a few knots, reweave them through a few of the beads you've added already and cut them short. Uh, I should add that the bell is best to add just before you add the central red bead as then it gives it a little bit of well, freedom to move and ring. And once you've tied them both, the head is complete and you can start making work on the body. Keep the head uh, pointing downwards like this uh, because we're going to be attaching the body to these red beads here. And the first one we need is this one here where we're going to have the blue on the right and the red on the left. And just add four yellow beads to the blue in a line. Bring it round and back through the first one to create a kind of square. And that gives you the first arm here. The only thing is uh, try to make sure that the red and the blue are uh, reasonably uh, similar lengths at this point because you don't want to run out before you get to the end. Now from here take the blue string, add two white beads and cross the red in the second one. Then thread the blue string through the next red bead, add two more white beads to the red string and cross again through the second one. Take the red string through the next red bead Add a white and a yellow bead to the blue string and cross them through the yellow. Add three more yellow beads to the blue string, then bring it back round through this one and the next red one. Add another yellow bead to the blue and then bring it back down through this one and this one. From here, take the blue string back round through the red bead here add two yellow beads to the red string and cross them again on the second one. Take the red string down through the next red bead here, add another two yellow beads to the blue and cross the blue and the red again through the second yellow one. Take the blue string on the right here through the final red bead, down through the top bead and the bead connecting here, Add one yellow bead and bring it back again through the last red one. From here, take the blue, now coming through the red bead, up through the first bead of this hand, add an additional yellow bead to the red string and cross them both. And then you have finished the first ring of the body. The next stage is quite easy. All we're going to do is weave a very simple ring all the way around adding two beads to both the red and the blue both times. And all the beads should be yellow, apart from the two crossovers in the front should be white. And when you've gone all the way around, just cross the two strings through the final yellow bead. And from here, you are ready to start making the legs. So this final stage is actually quite easy. We should have the red on the left and the blue on the right. Now you can start with either the red or blue, it doesn't really matter. And I'm going to start with the blue on the right here. First things, add three yellow beads and then bring it back round through this first bead here. From here, take the blue string back up through these two beads, add an additional yellow bead and then bring it back through the bead at the bottom here. And now looking at it from the back, take the blue string up through this one, this one, down through this one, and then thread it through the central back bead here. And it should give you a little leg like this with the blue string then coming through this back bead here. Now uh, with the red, all you've got to do is take it through these front two, wind, wind, wind through and out the back and it should mirror this exactly and come out the opposite side. And if everything has gone well, you should have two arms and two little legs. The only thing left to do now uh, on the back here Take either the red or the blue, uh, add three beads, um, it's probably better to add two beads to the one, one bead to the other, and then tie them together. And there it is, the complete bead bear. Now once it's tied you can re-thread it through a few beads and cut the string short to make it a little bit tidier. Uh, additionally, if you have nail scissors, you can really clean up the fluff on the face 
um, when you have some spare time, but essentially that is how it's done. Additionally, if you do have nail scissors, it makes cutting off these little extra bits a lot easier than using large scissors where you risk cutting the actual beads off. And there you are. Um, this is actually probably the most difficult of the sets just because the arms and the nose are very difficult to see in the instructions, but it does give a rather nice finish. And there you are. Until next time.